in February, tied with Xavier for first place. Know, and when you, when you mentioned Connecticut, this is a big game for them. We know they're going out to Creighton, your neck of the woods, yep. on Saturday. An opportunity now to get a quality win as we take a look. Our starting lineup sponsored by Jeep. There's only one you mentioned, Igadaro and Kolek, the two passers. And for UConn, in the backcourt, Tristan Newton. Dan Hurley really likes how Newton has been coming on. Newton averaging over 16 points per game this year in stores. But they'll take the 15,000 plus expected here tonight in downtown Hartford as we get underway at the XL Center in a top 25 showdown. Marquette and UConn. Kevin Kugler right now. UConn's got the ball and we got Marquette in a little man to man. And it'll be Alex Caravan, the Big East freshman of the week, fifth week of the year. He's likely the freshman of the year in the league. Tristan Newton to work against this suffocating Marquette defense. It's big what you do at the end of the shot clock. Everybody's so well scouted and prepared for. This is where I thought they would go. Nice save. It's a no-go. Pretty nimble footwork with the shot clock at three. Hawkins going to have to hurry. Hawkins with one to shoot. Contested three balls. Uh, he's one of those tough shot makers. No question about it. One for eight in the prior game. Late, he got a goal. So now Marquette to work. Stevie Mitchell will swing it into the corner. Olivier Maxence Prosper. Omax to work inside. Left it a little short. Rebound, Sonogo. Uh, nice job by Caravan as well. First meeting, UConn lost 82-76. That in Milwaukee. They turned it over to the Huskies 16 times in that game. Marquette will do that to you. Uh, when they play poorly, it's been turnovers the problem. And there's a turnover right there. Gives it up early. That's what's great about him in the backcourt. And now Kolick drives and finishes at the rim. Shaka said the difference this year is that they can't play Kolick just to pass. Well, he's got a pace about him, a great feel, great vision. Newton at the top with UConn up one. Harassed by Stevie Mitchell, and Mitchell takes it away and a foul on Newton. And not a bad foul either. Stop the goal. Pretty good hands, and Mitchell can get into you too. Outstanding defender. Sometimes overlooked with the way he plays. Yeah, we always look at offensive numbers to judge players. In this Marquette program, they look at it a lot of different ways. And his defense, his deflections, which I know Shaka loves. Oh, yeah. It does come up frequently. It Pretty does. good D by Caravan again. Really good D by the youngster inside. You notice good teams, it always comes back to the point guard. It's late. They don't make a mistake. That's that pocket pass he loves. Here's Igadaro. Kolek gets it back down the baseline. Good defense inside. I thought he was hurt on the fall. They got numbers. Got a hurry. Caravan good trying pass. to get organized. And Sonogo the floater. Uh, what an acknowledgement of the big guy. Running right down the seam. start for UConn. There's that ISO they like to have. He left that top step to the baby hook. So they go play it well. Here's a guy who can finish in rainbow threes. Ball knocked free. Turnover Marquette. Newton on the run. Two on one. Lob to Jackson. How about that? Jackson with some action. Here's Prosper now. 7-2. UConn on the back of three for three shooting to start. Mitchell. Nice rebound. And what a save by Jackson. Goodness. Uh, anytime you come over to block a shot, it opens up that glass. Whew. That open floor opportunity, but right here you can see two people on one. And also just a little late at Jackson reaction. Sharp. Jackson's had his struggles on offense, but not on defense. It always comes back on the inbounds to Golick. Gadaro in the corner to Mitchell. Going to have to go to work. Shot clock at five. Mitchell inside. Working hard against Hawkins. The scoop will fall. Boy, what a little variety there. Some spice in that delivery. Mm. A lot of individual ISO early here for Marquette. Surprise you? Maybe a little bit. Jackson. They both been so well prepared. Nice shortcut. And to shoot. Sonogo going around Hawkins. Drives down the right side. Pretty good defense by Agadaro. And the ball poked to Prosper. 
Here's Cole, that Bob Cousy top 10 award as far as point guards on the list this year. One of the best in the country. And Cole wild on that shot, Newton the rebound. Again, numbers, five on four if they go quick. Newton trying, Newton probing. Extra pass to Jackson. Jet got gathered quickly. Can't leave this to a nice paint pass. And a foul on Omax Prosper, the little body late. Means three free throws coming. UConn get to the rim early. Yeah, pretty good reaction right here. Both teams excel on the defense. Great game. Sure to see a lot more of him in their prior contest. He was sensational. To the line for three goes Jordan Hawkins. Last nine games, 48 of 51 at the line. That's pushed his season average up to 86 percent. Uh, he's solid. This kid, great, great using screens. Knows how to prepare himself. Big thing for them is passing in the pocket for him. Does the rest. One, one good sign for UConn and Dan Hurley early. Hawkins on the board early. Five points in this first half. He didn't score in the first half in Milwaukee, and now six for Hawkins uh, out of the gate. Uh, early in the game, uh, the one for eight. Scored late. A little pressure now. Interesting. Jackson can really rag somebody, can he? Here you out. Burn that shot clock down a little bit. The key is when Kohler gets it back the second time. There's the guy that he gets it going with that rainbow delivery. Jones misses from three. 10 4 lead for UConn. Caravan. They got him with the one. A little late. So no go against Sigadara. 10 to shoot. So no go. Little hesitation, just short. That's uh, the wide wingspan of Vigadaro. There's Joplin. He was asking for it. Another guy that can score in a hurry if he gets his rhythm. Mm -hmm. Chase Ross. Back off, nice steals team. it away. Newton gets the steal. Newton to the other end. Nice foul. Oh. How about that, Joplin? They got the foul, you're right, but what a great help making sure that doesn't go in. Just really excellent defense on both ends of the floor early on here. Nice denial in the passing lane, and how about this help? We you know he can shoot it, but what a great recovery. Newton to the line. A phrase that can be uttered often this year, second in the conference in attempts. Shooting 82% at the strike. One more to go for Tristan Newton. The early in the year, that triple double sort of lit everybody up in this league. Right now, tough kid coming in, good defender. One more for Newton. One for two in an 11 4 UConn lead. Darrow will put it on the deck against Klingon. There's that drop step. He does so nicely. Everything but the roll left, which he needed to get the bucket. He does a nice job running the floor, too. Skip up top. Naheem Ali. A little step back game as well. Hawkins working against Chase Ross. Picked up on the switch. After this match, they want it. Hawkins will launch the deep three. And he hit. Court pressure too, taking it so. Seven nothing run continues off the miss from Joplin. Aline, kill it. Time out. Marquette, all oh, UConn and Hartford. Pretty good start. 18 3. Aline, that southpaw stroke. He's a good defender. He's got a little step back game as well. He gets to the floor. They start ragging. You hate the arrow get in. Put a little more pressure. Play very small right now. Seventeen to four. A ten nothing ongoing UConn run. They've kept Pollock away from the ball. Once he gives it up. Jones. 
Ben Gold, the freshman, Pretty, running huh? to the rim. Uh, he can make jumpers, so you got to hug him a little bit. A little different look at that center spot. And Shaka was real pleased with him from Saturday. He said against Butler, it was his best defensive game of the year. It's that offensive game that's trying to come along. Yeah, they scored the score in that, day, that game as well. Kinda doesn't have a touch. Newton. Bumped, bodied, foul on Cam Jones. That's number two on number one. Boy, Newton's very aggressive in the of late. Playing well. Doubles of late. Last two games. Dan Hurley said he's figuring it out a little bit. The transfer from East Carolina seems to be finding that groove that they've been hoping he would well, find. It's the right time of year to find it. Mm. There's Hawkins. He's had the hot hand. Nine of the 17 early. How about 11 of the 19. Wow. He likes being home here. Struggled as you noted against Marquette. He's petitioning to have all the games moved to the XL center. <laughs> A different guy right now. <laughs> Baseline Jones drive for Sean quick. Jones. Cola clips that pass to Gold from distance. Gold's three will go. And UConn trying to add to the 19-6 lead. Yeah, that's what Golick does well. Cross court pass. Cling it. Oh, Offensive right rebound. Up. Caravan for three. How about Klingon? So vulnerable on the kicker. UConn is blitzing Marquette. Pollock around the screen, able to get to the rim for two. Well, they look ready, don't they, UConn? Mm. We were talking about it on the way over here. What an important game this is oh. for UConn to try to stay within reach of those top spots in the Big East. Absolutely. There's no swing and row. Sort of collapsed them. There's Newton, little hesitation, all the way in for two more. Wow. What a start. 24 to 8. A little disarray right now. Got to get organized. Three no, but a foul. Ooh. Three free throws coming after the foul on Alex Caravan. Time out in Hartford. I'll tell you what, what a kick out pass here, but what a bad foul that was. Five assists on eight made buckets. It's about as strong in eight and a half minutes as we've seen from UConn since the middle of that 14 0 run. And, and Hawkins certainly didn't help the cause either. He's really played well out of the gate. First free throw, no good for Omax Prosper after the foul on Caravan. Two more to go. Was making the free throw. He's the point of the defensively set up the three-quarter court pressure. One more for Prosper. Now you look at this more quickly. Joplin's a big, tough shot maker. Cam Jones as well. He's got some foul issues early. Also, he's going to come back in. Let's see if they get the uh, little pressure set up. Yep. Check in for gold. A reminder in that first meeting, there was a 16 nothing UConn run in the middle of that first half, and it ended up being just a four point game at halftime. So there's a lot of oh, basketball yeah, no to be question. played here. And he gets a confident team, too. Look at this kid's speed. Yaro, tough kid, too. 15 to shoot. Clinton trying to set the screen. Double cross. Pushing him out, no whistle, and there's the turnover. Walked a second time, and the second time got the call. Third turnover for UConn. Hey, nice job. This is a good can handle it, get to the rim. He's in on it, right on top of it, too. Good call. Move the pivot foot. And they do a great job of reading traps, Mark. They analyze, do it on their own. There's Cole. Trying to bounce it down. I went off the foot of it. But not in kick, not in kick ball, right? nope. So Marquette either way. 11 on the shot clock. Prosper banging oh. inside. Of an offensive foul. That's a big one. Two. That's two on yeah. Prosper to go with two on Jones. Now that changes things too. In your outlook. But again, just off the timeout. Make yourself big. Keep those hands up. Sacrifice the body. Pretty good play. Fahim Aline. 
Making plays on both ends early here for UConn tonight. Kids are getting so good at that, aren't they? Mm. Offering up that body. Joey Calcaterra on the floor for the first time. Grad transfer from San Diego. And they're going to get him going, too. Confident player. Did run early in the year. And to shoot Klingon. Harass the handoff to Aline. He'll go to work against Mitchell. Aline can't get that floor to the fall. Offensive board, Jackson. The swing to Aline for three. Look at this. Jackson flying in. Unbelievable effort. Huh. The speed to get there. Forget the elevation. Degaro might drive that on Klingon. Kolek needs a little bit of help. He's calling timeout. They got timeout. Nope, jump they ball. tie up possession arrow favoring Marquette. It'll stay with the Golden Eagles, but let's go back to Andre Jackson again. That's uh, just amazing. You don't put a body on this kid. He's going to bring the whole house and the chandeliers. What an adjustment in the air. Amazing. UConn plus six on the glass now. There was one thing that Chaka said, we have got to, to rebound, rebound the basketball. First thing he said this morning. Yep. They were relatively even on the offensive glass in uh, in Milwaukee. They say five one. difference. Yeah, five difference. Yeah. They're down one early in this one. He's on the glass. He's got to get going. And Jones does with good. two. And really a good finisher, too. How, is he, how important is he? He's back out there with those two fouls. Yeah. They need his points. He's got to stay in touch, really. He's got to play smart. Jackson. Aggressive. The pass. The bullet. He'll get it back. Calcaterra. 12 to shoot. Baseline jumper. Good. How about that cross court look? That's why they love Jackson. Unselfish. How about a 10 for 15 start from the floor for UConn? Where they are jamming everybody up. Jumper can't get a look. Jones tries. Diara all over and ball knock three turnover. Jackson on the move. Alcatara fortunate to get that one back. Pretty pass to Sonoga. How about that? Well, they look like you come early in the year right now. This is that team we saw that was 14 and out. Mitchell's three, one and done. Quickly up the floor and, and out of bounds it. off the head of Marquette's Cam Jones. Uh, they didn't need that pass. Very lucky to get it back. Tristan Newton back in. Hassan Diara will leave. Chase Ross returns. Uh, very lucky to get this thing back, though. Back to our World Cup days earlier in the year on FS1. A little header. A little messy action. Nice slip. Sonogo inside. Loves the mismatch against Mitchell. Oh, they are just reading things beautifully. 20-point advantage for UConn. Also has not been a factor with his dribble drives. Everybody staying at home. Iguodaro nowhere to go. Eight to shoot. Mitchell. Hesitation. Foul. Wow. That could have been a jump ball. Everything going their way, but boy, they are prepped and ready. And I guess on the left arm, anyhow. Nothing like being home. Right? Oh, my goodness. How good must it feel to sleep in your own bed if you're a UConn Husky tonight? No question about it. 71% shooting. Out-rebounding Marquette 11-4. Holding the Golden Eagles to 5 of 15 shooting and in the first half. The passing has been beautiful, too. Great defense. Push the ball. Find people. Go cross-court. Just excellent. The question was, was UConn starting to round back into that form? They won three of four, entering tonight after the tough January. Just three and five in the month of January, but right. February looking a lot better. Uh, the one they were disappointed in totally was the St. John's game. 
Carbon had a look late to see the whole game. Little zone looked out, changed the ooh, not a good pass. It's like it went off the foot of Big Adaro. Now they're gonna take us to the under eight media timeout. Working inside together. Well, it's been one, it's not been an issue scoring on the road for Marquette this year. They average about 83 points per game at home. They average 81 points per game on the road. So it's not one of those home road splits where you say, well, you know, they're away from home. They struggle. This is really one of the first times we've seen this offense struggle to this degree uh, away from home. And no easy goals either and no tough shot makers. Look at this step back. Hawkins wow. with one to shoot. Got a pretty good look. Chase Ross chasing down the rebound. Kolak trying to get involved. They need this young man. Kolak. This, this is when he's good. I mean, it, it, almost a turnover, but this is when he gets it back the second time. Ball tipped free. Eight to shoot. Mitchell to work. Boy, this defense has been suffocating. And then Mitchell gets inside Ooh, for nice, that two. Nice blow by. Now, Oso is so good at uh, getting out of an area. Little zone look. They tried it the last trip. But that middle looks wide open. Hawkins will try from out there. So does that. <laughs> it's been open tonight. He's yeah. got 14. Kolak against Caravan. The bounce for the answer in the corner, but Ross's three won't go. Rebound tipped out. By UConn. Yeah, you, you know, when you have two guys going after the ball like that, you got to be happy. You got to communicate a little bit. But one huge difference UConn's five of seven from three, Marquette 0 for five from three. 15 point difference behind the arc in a 20 point game. Well, Marquette's really been contested on their threes, too. There's Cole. Joplin working against Caravan. Good defense. Great day. Mitchell inside. Hawkins holding his ground. Gets the rebound and a foul. Frustrated. Really having their problems. Mitchell's first, team's fifth. Well, he's just standing up, doing a great job staying tall. Hawkins hurting you at both ends of the floor right now. He's been tremendous tonight. Didn't again, didn't score in the first half in the loss at Marquette. Only had eight points. They don't max with those two fouls. They can't really get their press organized. Plus, you got to score. And Newton's had the chance then to be more of a distributor tonight with five assists. Very over. much so, which I like. Nice cut. Swing to oh Hawkins. Boy. Red hot. The three this time off. Rebounded by Joplin. They're tough to blow oh, by Jackson, huh? Really doing work How to get about, those two. And, and you have to against that guy. <laughs> Show up as a two in the box score and a layup, but <laughs> man, was that a hard two. A, a very painful deuce. <laughs> <laughs> nice seal. How about that pass? So seal. Oh, looking easy down there. Ooh, my body. Joplin. Little crossover. Throws it back out to Kolek for three. Kolek looking for a foul, didn't get it. Sonogo got the rebound. Yeah, he and Hawkins both tried to dupe the officials. Our trio will not be swayed. No, exactly. Right on top of it. We've got a good angle on Sonogo for that dump down. Yeah, but he's on the sideline. Yep. How often do we see it, right? Yep. At least once a game, somebody's out of bounds in one of those corners. you got to invest in real estate. <laughs> exactly where you are. Location. High rent district. Back in comes Ben Gold. Also, Omax coming back in now. Why not, right? Yeah. yeah maybe get a couple of minutes out of him. It's 20, and in today's game, it's not insurmountable. No. You know, hang tough. He took some really solid blows. Left trying to help navigate that road back. Five minutes to go, first half. He can shoot it. And he can hit yeah. it. A little pick and pop. Golick with the assist. How often do you say that? Almost, eight, almost <laughs> eight times a game. 
almost as much as anybody yeah. in the nation. Second in the country with those eight assists per game. First made three of the night for Marquette. That dribble handoff to become a Marcus favorite play. Screen and then dribble handoff. Newton, five to shoot. Wow, ball. Ball. Nice is that. Actually, the bump sort of buoys you, controls your body, able to deliver that knockdown. Talked about his assist right here to attack the big. Little belly bump and a knockdown. And gold with the collision. Newton with the finish. Newton's not afraid of physical play. We've seen him on the defensive end. He draws a lot of charges. He's been... Well, he's been around, yeah. too. I mean, he's a confident kid. They're really playing well of late, too. As noted, they like his scoring. I like when he sets his team up, and it does come... Like Ola, get it back, and then do your damage. Five straight games and doubles for Newton. Has that average up to over 10 and a half a game. A big Xavier game, right? Mm. 23, I think, yep. if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Had that same game early in the year against Oregon when they were out west and right. won the Phil Knight. Well, they played a tough schedule. Great another one. I mean, early. I think Matt took on the world. Same thing. Nice Old pump. But the shot fake gets to the rim of the finger roll. This tennis game. Yep. Flash is during the course of the year watching them. Cuts well. First player out of the NBA Global Academy from New Zealand. So not only do you have to adjust to college basketball in the Big East, you've got to adjust to America. Okay. <laughs> people that talk like we do. <laughs> you don't want to. It's a hard part. Tend to shoot. Newton. Okay, he's there. Good to talk. Out for nice Sarah. Oh, what a fine for Aline, but he just can't finish. But who's there to clean it up with Donovan Klingon? First two for the freshman. Again, right? Gold again hits. How about that? Little slap back. Golic, what a great feel. His first double figure game in Big East play in his career. And they need him tonight. Oh, they sure do. He scored the last 10 Marquette points. And they've got to keep getting good shots. Nice pass. Didn't finish, but they got a foul. Nice play by Joey. Joey California. Mitchell with his second real foul trouble developing for Marquette. Other problems as well. Down 42 20. Clinging with a capable substitute. Big, big time backup. A little upset he didn't finish that dunk. Shaka Smart a little upset with the foul situation. Jones, Mitchell, Omax, each with two personal fouls. So 3.13 to go in the first half. Some foul trouble developing for this Marquette team. And Omax early on with that foul on the three-point shot started the negativity a little bit. Of course, it takes away the juice of their pressure. And not being able to score. They just can't change defenses. Just told. Olds had a hot streak. He's got 10. Jones will try from the corner. That high arcing three rebounded by Tristan Newton. And really great at that five out to Marquette. Move the ball. Nice hesitation. And Newton can't get the roll. Klingon there and a foul. Well, Klingon may have been on the rim on that one, but boy, anytime you go to the rim and they attract de defensively, my goodness, this kid, he really understands how to get to the rim. Second on gold here. He just go look at him right away into that restraining area. Smart kid. So now four Marquette players with two personal fouls in this first half. Jones will lead one of those four. Grabs a bit of bench and the rebound tipped by Gold off yeah, the miss. I think you just have to rotate him, you know. Get a couple of minutes here and there. And a blocking foul called on Hawkins, his first. Not just the fourth play. team foul. Not a good play, really. Just turn and get some weak side help. You can't dupe these officials, you know. Jeff Anderson, Tommy Morrissey, Ron Gruber, our officials tonight. The first time to 1-3-1. He's been going to this a little bit. 
Chris P.J. used to run this at Seton Hall. Yep. Kick ball. Andre Jackson with the kick. The cradle of great coaches, I might add. Yes, no, no doubt. The list is Present company lengthy. excluded. No, 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 included. Come on. <laughs> if nothing else, for the suits you wore on the sidelines. Oh, that's Dapper. Yeah. I returned them all. <laughs> What a great run, though, 89, of course, to the final. Hmm. Tough loss against Michigan. Steve Fisher's guys. Got a call back in this thing, though, for Marquette. Yep. This is a really talented team. You mentioned the foul is going deep into the bench now. They well, love gets to, it right back. Yeah, they love to do that. Little handoff. No pro baseline. Can't get it to go. Offensive rebound, Mitchell. Mitchell blocked out by Hawkins. Still 17 to shoot, but Marquette getting another chance thanks to more good defense from UConn. Yeah, yeah size prevailing really on that baseline drive. Oh, look at the sort of lost the grip on it. He's pretty good at the rim. With the top of the broadcast, we said passing versus power. So far, power getting the edge. Only two Marquette assists in this first half. And really, and both of them both are copy. I think on those pick and pop. Mm -hmm. The uh, dribble drive fine. Yeah, you come plus nine on the glass in this first half. Of that power that you were talking about. There's Rose. Just, 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 just right at the rim. So look at him. You don't find them. Three on the shot clock. Jackson going to have to launch. And so no go can't get the tip to go gold the rebound and that, he was free because he worked hard to post up Turned his guy sideways Mitchell the trailer for three Gold hoping to swat it alive and it'll stay there go out of bounds rather than UConn 90 seconds until halftime a half dominated by the home team now one of those things that you say dominate Sonoko can do we learn how to play with him just a little bit more, read his action. I think he can do more damage in that box area. He's got 10 in this first half, or 8 rather, a really quiet first half. There he is in a nice help defense, though. Mitchell, such a great defender. He loves that little post-up game. And he's fouled, goes to the line for two shots here. Tough competitor. Andre Jackson with the personal. That's his second. Uh, Danny raves about this kid's attitude. Permeates this team, his enthusiasm, team first spirit. Disappointed Danny's dad. Mom right here. Usually get to see him mm -hmm. come up here. The legends of the game. Oh, are you sure of it? Hall of Famer. <laughs> what he did off the court for those kids at St. Anthony's, too. I mean, Something. the regular student body. And he really had this team ready. It was impressive today. They went mm -hmm. over everything. You don't know how you're going to come out and perform, but they certainly did. Excelled. Contained defensively beautifully. Of course, a lot of individual play. It's as detailed a shoot around in early practice as we see, especially at this time of year. Right. They go over a lot. Well, I think they feel they were letting things slip. But talking to the staff defensively was the one area that really concerned them. They have responded. Uh, it's all about rebounding the defense. Everything else stems from it for UConn. A little bit of a cold spell here for the Huskies. They've missed their last five from the floor. Still a comfortable lead. Hawkins. Nice hands oh, here. Kolek with the pick. Uh, closing out the half is key. Can't hit the three. Rebound tipped out. The caravan there. That's a big rebound. Little flow going. Yeah, that three had gone down. 13-point oh, game. Yeah. A little bit different. Now you're thinking stop. And go. Excuse me. And go if you're Marquette. There's Newton out of caravan. Ten to shoot. Hawkins. What a great defensive set here by Kolek. Sonogo, shot fake, runner. Rebound pulled down by Jones. They got hold the on, stop hold on. to the other end. Two for Chase Ross. Oh, I'll tell you what, that Huskies. kid in the open floor is tough. Half quarter for Moline. Oh. Ooh, a three, two. Naheem Aline 
one for three to close a stellar Husky half. They have struggled. UConn has not performed admirably at that end. Well, they have. Obviously, they've walked out with a win. Well, it was a big stressor. We talked about it earlier. One of the things they wanted to work through in their shoot around their practice earlier today was what were they going to do defensively tonight? They really drilled the defensive end, and clearly they had some attentive players to that practice well, earlier no, today. They paid attention is right. A little five out, a lot of cutting. Hawkins. Nice hesitation here. A little runner of the dark off the backboard, rebounded by Sonogo. Oh, shoot it, big guy. A little hesitation, yeah. but he still gets the two. Uh, I thought he had that little 10 footer. Off it for an easier one. He's got a 10 point night to go with that jumper. 48 29. Uh, nice show by the big guy as well. Look at Daro. On the so run off the window. He just has that poise and patience, freezes the D, because also dive into the rim, loosens up the pressure. He's got a lot of folks here tonight, 90 minutes away is Cumberland, Rhode Island, about 40, 40 tickets wow. that he acquired. In the old days, you'd be, I'd say, <laughs> probation. All above board. Yep, exactly. Nice cut. Extra pass. Newton, the open man. That three won't go. Sonogo, though, yeah. tracks it down. Andre very unselfish. Thought he should have taken it himself. Look at this. Say good night. Oh, and a foul. He is so quick. Really. Third on Cam Jones. Two free throws coming for Jackson. Uh, always active right here. Nice little play and preventive measure. No embarrassment. Andre Jackson talked about his struggles on offense. That is a solid line Saturday against Georgetown. Seven points, ten rebounds, seven assists. But he said. I've been hearing other teams tell me to shoot. They all want me to shoot. And he said, it was kind of getting in my head a little bit, and I'm listening to him. He said, i got to go back to my first identity, which is that of a defensive player. And as you see, the offense is kind of flows from his defense. Yeah, I mean, he's not looking for that three-point shot, although he does make them bite you once in a while. But everything about him is pushing the ball, guarding his guy, making the extra pass, and obviously his rebounding prowess. He comes into his own again. Good. Look at Darrow. Yes. Met by Hawkins, but a foul. Well, they emptied out that side totally. And what a reaction by Hawkins. Oh, he came from, look at the distance he came here. And boy, I think he got it all. That is quick. Second foul on Hawkins sends Igadaro to the line. Well, he's starting to make his free throws lately, hasn't he? It's been a big, big plus for him. Been in a nice stretch. Seven of the last eight games in double figures. 13 points in that span. But that was point number one on the night. And he stuck at one. Got to get back. So no go. A little bobble. Able to find Newton underneath, and the adjustment in air gets two. And that's where Jackson's good. That pass that to Sonogo led to that easy goal. Cool. Here's a good Darrow. Can just he get elevate. it going? Just elevate. Uh, just give it away there. Newton with the giveaway. Newton with a foul. Arquette with the inbound. Second on Newton, second team foul on the Huskies. Well, they are alert defensively, though. Jackson looking, jamming it up. Luck inside, pushing up that left hand. Loose ball trickles out to Newton on the run. Hawkins poked into the corner. Newton will reset. Nice cut again by Jackson. And we've got a whistle and looks like a lane violation, perhaps. Wow. Out of nowhere. Turnover number eight for the Huskies. That was interesting. Mm. And Hurley perplexed. Quick on the other end. Open look. Ooh. Won't go. And then a foul is going to be called on Stevie Mitchell. Mitchell trying to make a play defensively instead gets his third foul. I think he felt it may have been a walk instead of a bobble. 
Well, Jackson does pass up some shots at the rim. Does, he's yep. so, so unselfish. Trying Is it to too unselfish? I, at times, I think, but he really loves setting his teammates up. Here's Tristan Newton. Cameron does a nice job separating himself on those pin downs. And Newton does a nice job from behind the arc for throw. Wow. UConn continuing to pour it off. Well, he can't even get that drop step to the right hand. Nary a field goal tonight for Igadar. Kolek. Nice pass. There's the field goal thanks to Kolek's yeah, fine. That's in. Only the third. Assist. Bottom of the month, totally, aren't they? Every bucket seems like you're climbing a mountain from our cat. Absolutely. The individual D has been strong. Ten on the shot clock. Jackson. His, his stop and go is amazing, isn't it? He's got great body control. He does. He's got length. He's a tough, tough kid. Well, you know you watch Marquette, though. Kolek, leadership ability at the point. Always bringing the team together. Competes. Jackson, touch to the rim. A little strong. It'll go out of bounds to Marquette. There's Kolek, who's pre-portal, though, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. The transfer. George Mason, A-10 yeah. Rookie of the Year. Post-COVID. Mm -hmm. Not a bad guy to pick up. Sean Jones. Speed, huh? Hell. And solidly built. Now, he's battling that wrist, and he came down on that taped right you wrist. That, you know, that right away he reacted. Drop spin. spin. A big wide body. Snow goes alert, though. Mm -hmm. Jammed it up. See, the wrist is taped. He's been out the last three games. And as he came down after that collision inside, he immediately kind of mm -hmm. grabbed that. And he didn't hold it for long. I like his defense, too. This kid really gets down the stance and rags this guy. Shaka called him a blinder. Because he's got that speed, right. that quickness. Well, he can relate to those VCU days yeah. when he had some kids who could oh. get up and down and get into you. Sean Jones would have fit in in those VCU oh, days. Oh. Goodness. <laughs> he would have been a monster nudge. <laughs> Prosper back in. Kolek, he really needs a blow. He's been nonstop. Trying to steal it before the under-16 timeout. He won't be there long. To go to Sonogo, and the big man will bring it up. Look at He'll this. attack, drive it. Little, little jump through. Mm. Little Euro. Uh, taking advantage of size. Nice help. Take oh, away by Joplin. Up. That was close. Oh, that was close, if not. Megadara. Posting inside hook. No, Sonogo lost it loose underneath. Omax Prosper has it taken away. A right, little body job at a big guy. Look at Jackson flowing up the floor. Caravan on the run to the rim. Oh, my goodness. All set up by the poise of Jackson. Once he passed, it cleared the area. This is a dribble drive. He's a glider in the open field. Yeah, it's like easy, effortless. Nice. Jones' little hesitation and the scoop for two. Boy, Marquette fans are going to like watching him grow into his game. Now they're hanging. Newton in the lane. Pinballs out. Somehow gets his own. Here's Caravan. Back out to Hawkins. Newton, what an effort. Yeah, they are just out strapping and hustling. You don't see this often against Marquette. So dribble drop. Plus 14 on the board. Wow. Impressive. And just the whole attitude of this UConn team is entirely different, I think, than the last couple of weeks. Look more aggressive, more tuned to what they want to do. Making extra passes. 
Looking to get that one back. Aline tracks that one down. 15 to shoot. Is there down and through? Use those bumps on the baseline. Five on the shot clock. Newton back out to Aline for three. His second of the night. How about that? Only 28% this year, but everything's going down for uh, UConn. Uh, you might note it earlier in his career, shot over 37. The drive by Sean Jones after the eighth Husky three. That's really the first breakdown I think I've seen in a while. Unattached to the dribble drive. Six tonight for Jones off the bench. Catch and shoot. Where are you? Hawkins. you got to be there. First points in the second half for Hawkins, who has 17. Oh, that's too easy. They got the 1-3-1 one, again. And then he said he feels he's got to change defenses a little bit more. Kolek, they're swinging it around to find the open shot. It's Jones who penetrates, and Sonogo changed it, but it ends up with Joplin. Yeah, nice play. Heads up, got to the rim. Were you surprised to hear that from Dan Hurley earlier today? We talked about how he's maybe got to go a little earlier to some of his other defenses. Well, I, I think I was a little bit surprised because he's such a man-to-man -man guy. Sure. But little wrinkles are important, I think, as the season progresses. They've seen you. they watched you on tape, particularly in your own conference. I was going to say, this league is so well scouted. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, I know where, that's why it's key what you do at the end of your play. Do you cut well? Do you pass well? Offensive board again for UConn. Salim Newton Nice pass Oh, what a find for Caravan for two Oh, they never got reconnected They've matched their largest lead at 22 One through one really takes away the drive You got to cut Get to the elbow Nice pass Foul underneath. Let's go back to the other end and the jam. Uh, impressive, really getting in position. And Newton talked about his ability to find people. They're a different team, and Caravan's so alert. Because anytime you're a scorer like he's capable of, uh, you know how to get free. Chance to work in a little different rotation right now yes, for UConn. He's going 18, really. We've got a whistle and a foul before the inbound. Uh, Joey. Yep. Calcaterra with the personal. His minutes have been down of late. This is an opportunity for Dan Hurley to try to get him back to what he was doing early in the season. You know, he provides a lift because he's such a confident shooter. Good driver, finishes at the rim. Brings a little juice when he's on the floor, mm -hmm. too. Veteran savvy. Joplin weaving inside, and Joplin able to fight that up for two. Uh, trying to get their press organized. Uh, opens up some easy shots if you're the, uh, rotating back. Alcatara weaving through the lane, finding underneath Klingon, who cleaned up the miss. And Klingon will work his way to the line. Uh, nice job by Joey, too. Drew some people. Gave Klingon the opportunity at the rim. Joplin with the personal, sending Donovan Klingon to the free throw line. What a future this kid's going to have. Mm. Got a great looking jump shot that 15 16 can really step out and practice and make the deep one as well. But footwork gets up and down the floor, reads things beautifully. Marquette saw plenty of that in Milwaukee at 20 yeah. and 10 in that game. Yeah, Shaka was talking about him today. What a lift he provided. Four tonight for Klingon. But he's not been in double figures as a scorer since that Marquette oh, game. The, the numbers have gone down a little bit, but maybe the minutes too. Mm -hmm. well, it's just hard. To, what do you do with Sonogo? I mean, he's, oh, that's, you don't want to take a, him off the floor. As, well, once in a while, they'll slip him in together, but yeah. not often. Oh, harass. Almost a travel for Prosper. Under 12 to go. All UConn tonight. 
Joplin, we've got a whistle and an offensive foul. Yeah, once you turn your back and you don't have balance. Oh, they have been sharp defensively, though. Eight turnover tonight. The Huskies. For the Yukon Huskies. Pushing them to the 65-44 lead with 11.53 remaining in this one. Big East freshman of the week for the fifth time this year. Alex Caravan will inbound. He's got that award sewed up. And right now, full court pressure. Can get an open look if you want it. A lean, a little bobble, controls. That three won't go. Offensive board. Clinging on the run. How about this kid competing? Just staying with it. He's about two or three of those around the room. He's really <laughs> distraught over it. But really good hands. And here the power move. How about that? Prosper with his third foul. Sixth team foul. So the next Marquette foul means UConn's at the line the rest of the way. A nice cut there. And there's that foul. Yeah, I think Prosper too. No. Not sure who they give it to. It is on Omax. That's oh, his yeah. fourth. Wow. They're really beaten on the cut. Some of the fundamental things you're so accustomed to with Marquette is when you dissipate or have a lead like this, something defensively, communication breaks down, you're not in the right position. And that was an easy cut to the rim. Front end good for a lean. He's played well tonight as the Hema lead. The big expectations. This kid's played a lot of basketball, as you noted earlier. Second free throw won't go. Ben Gold, the rebound, almost lost it to Jackson. Right, Jackson can wear you out defensively. Joplin trying to move Caravan. Couldn't spin baseline. Ross on the drive. Good defense by Calcaterra. I can come back and get this ball. I'm not bringing that up the floor. Well, you better guard if you're playing for Danny, though. Yep. Well, this is more like that. They got to be back soft. Waits for that screen. Oh, no, leave your feet. That's uh, one of his better plays. Tenth turnover. Here's Ross towing the line. And the air ball out of bounds to UConn. That is not what Chase Ross was hoping no. for on his birthday. No, some Eastern serenade from the crowd. Yeah, Eastern discourse. Well, you got the birthday in. I'm impressed. Now, yeah. Scott would have been disappointed with, yeah. us, with us on the Marquette side. They always have so many good pearls to <laughs> contribute to the broadcast. <laughs> A nice hands here. Diving on the floor. Prosper with those four fouls. Tie up arrow points the other way, so he gets the ball back for the Golden Eagles. Just sloppy. Head not in the game on this particular play, but this is what they do best, I think, when he's at the point of any of the zones, whether it's on the ball or three quarter or half court. And the inbound, wow. speaking of sloppy, just thrown to nowhere, and Calcaterra blocked on the other end by Ross. He should have a better feel. He got to get that to the left hand and cross over, and an easy layup at the rim. That was a breakdown on the inbounds pass. Good recovery by the birthday freshman. Yeah, didn't give up on it. A better job now facing the ball to the corner by Ross. They were beaten right at the rim. In the corner, it's Hawkins. Wow. Again, from range. Boy, they're not trailing at all. No contact. 20 for Hawkins tonight, and the rejection by Klingon. He's a player. No question about it. He's going to be a force in this program. Offense and defense tonight. Yeah, so look at that little bump he provides. And this kid gets his feet spread away. You think you got an easy one? Mm. Oh. And the bank utilized by Cam Jones off the inbound for three. Cam's had a tough time with the foul problems. 
If you're Shaka Smart, you don't care how it goes in right now. No. You just want to go in. Just try and get in touch. And a whistle and a foul. That'll be an offensive foul on Andre Jackson. And a turnover back to Marquette, 10.07 to play. Are they just maintaining their balance here score-wise? Connecticut. Marquette can't, they can't string a few yeah, just stops together. Stiff-arming them all the way to yeah. the finish line here. Wrap around down low to Iguodaro. Here's Kolek. Inside against Sonogo. Tough matchup. Ball tipped out of bounds to UConn. Well, they just can't get away with anything at the rim, can they? I think Adaro, too, he hasn't really done a nice job of keeping the dribble alive, getting to that left shoulder. I'm a little surprised at how ineffective UConn has made him offensively. Uh, they haven't kept him away uh, from the lane. Just because we've seen Oso play some pretty good basketball over the last month. Uh, an impressive kid. Danny was talking about how good he was uh, this oh, afternoon. Nice takeaway. Kolak with the anticipation. Now the trap and okay. another turnover. Mitchell can't convert. UConn fortunate there. Uh, the wing. Newton. End to end. Rolls off. Rebound out to Kolek. A pretty good run by Marquette. Nice give here. Igadaro to the rim. No. No whistle. I think he was expecting contact. Hawkins with 20. Baseline. Oh. Euro step left it short. And out of bounds to Marquette. Uh, pretty play, but no finish. And right here, I just thought, just a gorgeous move. Came up a little bit empty. Step back for Mitchell. That three will drop. And Shaka wants him full court. 17-point game, and 8 nothing run. And a timeout used by UConn. Dan Hurley doesn't want to take any uh, chances here. Uh, Shaka going VCU on us, right? We're <laughs> pressure. Getting back in touch. Or, or Clinton, Clinton, they really did a nice job. Now they're going a little zone. Half court. Inbound for Caravan. You got to know where Hawkins is, too, when you go zone. There's the trap. Get rid of it to Caravan, and now back out to Newton. I got to come this way. Igadaro on Hawkins. I think he could do some damage if they go to him. Caravan finally gets the ball over to the left side. Nice Newton inside slip. to Sonogo on the slip. And that nice. really heads up play. Again, Hawkins without the ball. Drove to big. Double double tonight now for Newton with his 10th assist. Good back cut. The bounce to Mitchell. Can't finish and a foul underneath. This is really a nice place. Hawkins takes Oso away and then the slip. The big not available. Omax. A little late on the cover. Well, they open up that middle. Pretty effective. Mitchell at the line. One more for Mitchell. As Jackson returns, Hawkins will get a little time to relax. He's had his fourth 20-point game in the last five to his credit. Well, he's been bringing out those threes, two, five and up. Two for two for Stevie Mitchell. Straight up man. Newton trying to come back to get it. He will. Gonna put Tristan Newton on triple-double watch now. 11 points, 10 assists, 7 rebounds. For the second time this year. Yep. A little pin down dribble exchange. Jackson will back it out to Newton. Shot clock at eight. Newton looking. Sonogo there to set the screen. Newton on the drive. Collides inside. Offensive foul. Uh, really good defensive set. And who's there? Jones. Standing up, taking the hit. Great perimeter D. Jones can take a couple of hits, too. 5'10", oh, solidly He really is sturdy.
But this team is hanging tough, though. I mean, it's been a struggle on this end of the floor. Jones will try as he toes the line, short on the three, rebound out of bounds to UConn. Maybe a little bit of a settle, didn't attack. Timeout in Hartford, UConn up 71 54. Eight in this game. It's going to be hard for Marquette to get anything. Uh, very much so. They need those sort of step up a little bit right now. Inbound will come from the corner for Caravan. And really a tough angle. So he'll go back to get it. See if they run a double. Yeah, they are. Here it comes. In trouble, Newton. Ball knocked away and taken away. The steal and a foul. Prosper on his way up the floor. Marquette got exactly what they wanted with their defense. Uh, and it not, turns into an opportunity on this end. They're not going away. Uh, I think it was a pretty good foul, really. But the fourth on Andre Jackson. Now that, that's a problem as well. That means the bench will be, will be relied on again. Hassan Diara coming in. Pretty solid defender. Hands Ninth team foul on UConn, one and one for Prosper. 76% free throw shooter. It's a time to Prosper, too, with the clock stopped. Two for three tonight. Oh, come up in the front yeah. end. I let somebody else bring it up against Jones. He can really get into it. Fearless for a freshman. Very much so. Three guard look now. Five turnovers of the last three minutes for UConn. Newton with seven to shoot to a lean. Uh, nice help by Oso. Sonogo trying to get down the baseline. Wow. One on the shot clock. Shutting it. Bucket for the big man. And now he's shaking hands instead of running back. <laughs> he went away from the double. Heads up play. Seven to play. Jones hesitates. Flip over the shoulder. Kolek will launch the three, and he hits. And also really not looking to attack inside. Got to make the big guy play a little bit. There's the double again. Diara bringing it up. Newton, the safety valve, gets it back. Both, team with the, both teams with the three-guard look. Love Mitchell's defense. In the corner, the find a lean. Offensive rebound. Nice pass. Oh, what a feed. How about that read? Knowing where your partner is. Kolek. The answer, easy at the rim. I think that's the 11th assist for him. It's amazing. And a timeout. Used by UConn. They have one left. Mm. 18 offensive rebounds, 22 second chance points for Dan Hurley's team. That's the difference in this ballgame. Uh, and you're never out of it when you're lean. Marquette will bring Ben Gold back out there, the big freshman. Stevie Mitchell on the floor with Jones, Ross, and Joplin. So Kolek getting the breather. And Caravan can see over the D here. Caravan running baseline. Oh boy, a perfect trap. At the DR and now a lean. He's had a good night as Naheem Ali. He has. This guy's had a super night right here. Newton. He plays like this for a different team, Newton. I just season high with 11 assists. He had those against Buffalo. Caravan. Step out three. Big ball. Uh, and Joplin, Tardy. Pretty good looking stroke. And a chance to exhale for the 15,000. In Hartford, Jones, the air ball caught by Newton. And they don't have to be in a hurry here. That's the ninth rebound for Newton. One away from the triple-double. Another three. This one rimming out for Diara. And Danny mad that he passed it up. But he should have controlled it, Newton. Joplin, 15 to shoot. They do, wow. Just standing him up. Mitchell Pretty to the rim. Nice little spin and scoop. Wow, how about that? Set him up beautifully. 
Straighten baskets, not healthy for Marquette. They cannot afford to do that. No. Newton. Eight on the shot clock. Beautiful wow. bounce. Finish and foul. How about that? And they are enjoying themselves. Sonogo, show that personality. How about this? The big guy, little back door. Whew. Wide open in that lane. Nobody can help. The beautiful bounce from the big man. Yeah. And a lean at the line for one more. Uh, just shows you his style. 19 assists on 30 made field goals tonight for UConn. They're sharing, they're rebounding, rebounding. they're scoring, right. they guarding. Again, it's as complete a performance as we've seen from UConn since the heart of Big East played yeah. the game. Uh, I think they're back a little bit. Mitchell. Back out to Gold. Gold will attack. And a blocking foul. Sonogo picks up the personal. Yeah, good communication with the refs, too. Had that angle to get by. He's doing it all out there. How do they guy? Begging a little bit. As I say, he's helping Jeff Anderson with the calls. They're both laughing down there. Boy, they have passed the ball beautifully, though, you mm. They're selfish. Do you remember the early part of the year when they came off the Phil Knight win? They were surging. They were moving the ball around. Hawkins was hitting shots. Nogo had it going. This is the team that I remember from early in the season when they started 14 and 0, doing all of the things that they were doing to get off to that hot start. Well, I guess you learn from your mistakes, yeah. obviously, and some obviously preparation by the opponent uh, prevailing at different times. But this is more like them as a unit, unselfish, and running the show too. Well, it's such an important stretch for them with the trip to Omaha coming on Saturday, then back here next week for Seton Hall, then Providence on the 22nd. They're one and three against these four teams this year. Diara drives. No. Gold's tip and a foul on this end of the floor. It'll be on David Joplin of Marquette. Well, they look ready, though, don't they? Taking advantage of that press with a little post-up, a little fight. Defensive end earlier today. Very, very solid. I love the way this kid emotes, though. He, he just has a lot of fun out there. He has charisma. 17 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists in 26 minutes. When he plays like that, when Hawkins oh. shoots like he has, this is a tough team. They are. I mean, they got all the pieces, too. They're good, solid defenders coming to lean off the bench. The arrow off the bench. Caravan. Now he can make that deep shot. Good passer as well. Mitchell will step back in the corner. That three won't go. Rebound ripped down by Omax. Foul is called underneath on Sonogo. And Prosper will shoot two. They just can't break through that 20, 20, 18, 20, 22. It's funny you say that because I'm sitting here looking at the score thinking... Okay, Marquette, I feel like, has played better yeah. of late, and it's still a 20-point ball game. Well, they have into the stops in a row. Yep. Big thing in this, you know, particularly the end of the games. you got to time together two or three or key in the last four minutes. Prosper got into that early foul trouble in the first half, and that certainly hampered Marquette. And Jones, yep, too. Yeah, Jones right? as well. All of a sudden, you're at a stride. You're out of your mix, your rotation. One for two. Loose ball. Still on the floor. That's what you got to do. And possession arrow gives it to UConn. You just got to keep hustling. No possession arrow. A round of applause for the arrow. Huh? I believe they gave a rebound oh, to I Newton okay. in the scrum. So Newton officially has his second triple-double on the 13th 
in UConn history. Uh, talking about Marquette not packing the tag. Uh, they are such an aggressive team defensively. Just their offense wasn't good. Uh, just a lot of individual play. They'll take encouragement, I think, tonight from how Ben Gold has played in a reserve yeah. role. A 10 in the first half, a nice sure. little run there. Develop some confidence. A couple of pick and pop trees. The run and jump here. There it is. Got to look ahead. Gold trying to take it away from Sonogo, just too strong. Sonogo's playing that point forward mm -hmm. uh, now. Making plays. Eight to shoot for Newton. Looking. One to shoot. Sonogo turns. Did he get it up in time? They're going to check. They're going to check it. It's close. We'll review to see if Sonogo what seals his guy. That's another area where they can get better, the timing of when he's free. How do you like his matchup this weekend with Kalkbrenner of Creighton? Wow. <laughs> a, a tough one. He's not going to get easy shots around the rim. We know no. that. Kalkbrenner over 70% yeah. uh, field goal percentage. He's become a good offensive player. Ross exploding to the rim. Count the bucket. It's a goal 10. I believe both officials say yes, it is indeed a goal 10. Dan Hurley. Apoplectic on the sidelines. Yeah, disbelief. I guess it hit the glass first, is what the. Yep. Yeah. Well, they're going to call an and one as well. Oh, so that's why he's upset. That's why he's upset. It. Yeah. One shot coming for Ross. A lot of time left here. Think of the way they generate some offense off their D. Pretty good uh, pressing group out here right now. Speed. Inbound comes to a lean. Now back to Newton. Channeling. Twenty to shoot. Yeah, clocks your pal. Yep. Do you use time? Newton with ten to shoot. It's the screen from Sonogo. Newton bumped by Mitchell. Yeah, going on there, trying to whip around and regain position. That's five on Mitchell, and he's fouled out. Newton's been a load. Total control. Guy in the ball, too. Mentioned the assist. Mitchell trying to argue a little bit with Jeff Anderson. Are you sure it's my fifth? <laughs> he didn't have the scorebook. Well, Max uh, coming back in now. He's got four himself as he returns. And to the line goes Newton for two. Well, Max is afraid to come in. Oh, they're beckoning him in finally. <laughs> Back in comes Jackson for UConn. Hawkins will leave. Three points tonight for Hawkins. It's a great teaching game, though, I think, for Marquette. Uh, ob obviously, they stood up. Um, defensively, Connecticut, that is, uh, did a great job on them early. Forced them out of the things they like to run, the action they like to run. I'm sure they shook them. Two for four at the line tonight for Newton. They dissect this game. The rebounding is going to be something that Shaka Smart draws his attention to immediately. They've been out-rebounded tonight, 46 to 22. So, so collectively, really, they yep. need everybody involved on the glass a little. One for two for Newton. A little counter press here. They can use a little clock. Gold turnover. How about that play by Caravan, though? What a read. Now for that Marquette defense, last two games, they'd allowed 58 points per game. Their foes were shooting just over 40% tonight. 
84 points. UConn shooting 50% from the floor. Yeah. Offense for UConn, yeah. rebounding for UConn. Uh, the so three. no go for three. And it will not go. How about the big guy? Been working on that baby. That would have been his 14th of the year, 40%. Hawkins going to come back in for Jackson now. Kolek will leave, and that might be the last time we see Tyler Kolek tonight. Yeah, that's the connection. Coach the floor. Back into Sonogo. Uh, Hawkins really got him going early, though, don't you think? Mm, sure did. 14 early in this game. In the corner, Caravan with the three. He's got 13. Three from range tonight. Oh, they're getting their confidence. And Danny going bananas on the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> uh, trying to get the house excited. I think UConn fans have something to be excited about again with this season. Uh, they are really a different look. Forget the three-game losing streak. And a bump ooh, ooh, by ooh. Ross, who <laughs> almost landed... In the lap of the Marquette Radio Network, engineer Kent Sommerfeld almost got himself a six foot nine, two hundred forty-five pound post in his lap. Oh, Homer's under the table under there. <laughs> I tell you, we all would have gotten under the table if Snogo came at us. You and I were standing firm, well away from all of that action. <laughs> Enjoying it from a distance. Yes. But they got contributions from everybody, UConn, though. When you look at that bench, Joey C. came in, did a nice job at times. Aline, the arrow for a few. Obviously, Klingon. Pretty deep. I know it's Kent Sommerfeld is also the engineer for the Brewers radio broadcast. Oh, I was wondering how you knew and, that. And uh, if, if he gets run over by Adama Sinogo, I'm pretty sure... The voice of the Brewers, Bob Euchre, would never let him forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. He doesn't do a full schedule now, though, does he, Bob? Do he does. He does uh, mainly home games. Mm -hmm. Still sounds terrific. I'm sure. Jeff Levering, our Fox colleague, and yeah. Lane he, Grindle handle the rest of the does Bob radio get a, duties. Does he get a good seat at the game? He gets his, he gets better uh, seats uh, than he got when uh, he was uh, hawking uh, beverages. Uh, Prosper. Boy, they really haven't gotten looks for this guy. Uh, right up in Joplin tonight. Just four points. 0 for 3 from 3. And UConn begins the celebration. What a night in Hartford for the Huskies. Well, I'll say. The rumors of their demise, Rath, uh, were made them greatly exaggerated. Exactly. exaggerated there. Sonogo, ball knocked free. Gold able to track it down. Trying to get Kling it in uh, for Sonoka now. They're... And a drive and a foul. Sean Jones with eight. And a chance for one more. Uh, crowd's going to enjoy this. Sonoka out. He'll get a rousing ovation here. At least he should tonight. Jackson will leave. Here comes Sonoka. Pretty happy group. What a time to get healthy mm. mentally. Boy. Hawkins will leave as Diara comes back in. Uh, he set the table, I thought, today. And Caravan will inbound. One thing this means is that Caravan will still have to keep the beard. He started letting that beard grow before the DePaul game, and none of the coaches will let him shave it off. And in fact, assistant coach Tom Moore is also joining He's in the beard growing. Yeah. Said his mom's not happy. <laughs> <laughs> and he mentioned D. Rowe wouldn't have been happy, God bless him. But everybody else around UConn very happy right now. An 87-72 win. The Huskies with a wire-to-wire -wire victory tonight over the 10th ranked Golden uh, They are solid. Both ends of the floor. The bigs and Newton run the show. 87-72.